Hello, Slim Beckett here. Uh, and I didn't realise until a couple of days ago when my good friend Michael Anderson, well known in the media circles, rang me to tell me that, uh, or to remind me rather, that the festive day Irish League derbies used to be played on Christmas Day, not on Boxing Day as they are now. And uh, I must say I was taken aback because I couldn't really remember that. And then he reminded me that I'd actually played in the last uh, Christmas Day derby that Korean played with Balamina. He also reminded me, and it came as no real surprise, uh, that Desi Dixon, my old mate Dickie, had scored a hat trick in that game, and that gave us a 3 2 1 against a very good Balamina United side at a packed showgrounds in Balamina. Mind you, that was a decent Korean team as well, lots of characters in that team. And it just reminded me as well that. No nutrition in those days, you know, no Christmas dinner, obviously, on Christmas Day, but uh, not the same amount of nutrition and body preparation that goes into modern football nowadays. In fact, I can remember a couple of our Irish Cup finals the morning of the game. The Balamoney boys going down the street in the tune and going to a local restaurant uh, or cafe, as we called them in them days, and getting a full fry each. In fact, I can still remember, and this is true, I think it was the year we beat Linfield 4-1 at uh, the Oval. I can still remember running onto the pitch and smelling the brown sauce coming off my moustache <laughs> during the game. But uh, nutrition and preparation, well, it was still OK, but it wasn't as intense as it is nowadays. Nowadays, I know the players wear them uh, technical vests underneath their jersey uh, to tell them uh, they're performance levels and how far they've run uh, all I can say is that again Desi Dixon wouldn't have needed one of those you know uh, at least if he had a worn one the batteries would have done him all season because he didn't run a big lot his job was to score goals and he did that in abundance because he was instinctive and he was in the right place at the right time he didn't have to run all around the pitch uh, in order to score a goal so things have changed uh, the game has changed there is so much attention now in nutrition and what you're allowed to eat and what you're allowed to drink. Uh, people are obsessed by tactics and systems. Uh, and some of it, maybe it's okay, and some of it, I think, hasn't been for the better of the game. But it's just the way it is, and it's the way we are now. And all I can say is that uh, in those days, you didn't really mind how many games you played in a week. Uh, nowadays, I know it's a problem for some players if they're asked to play twice a week, once on a Saturday and once in midweek. I can't get to the bottom of that either. But I know that uh, the players will all relish the Boxing Day derby as it is now. And I know they'll all give of their best. Uh, and I know that the best team will win. I think both teams are are becoming a wee bit more evenly matched. I think Cole Rain has lost a wee bit of form this last three or four weeks. Balamina have gained a wee bit of form over the last few weeks. So it all aims and points to a massive game on, on Boxing Day at the Balamina Showgrounds. And maybe I'll maybe cast my mind back, because I'm working at that game for BBC, I'll maybe be able to cast my mind back to that last one I played in uh, when it was played on Christmas Day when we won 3-2. But if I could just wish all the players and all the staff and all the supporters happy Christmas, good health, happy New Year, and let's hope and pray this bloody Covid thing disappears because where would we be without local football let it be on Christmas Day or Boxing Day. Take care everybody. God bless. Stay safe.